Hello, welcome to this series of a few essential words. My name is Ross. Today's readings address a difficult and a deeply personal issue. Both of my parents have died, and amid the despair of their passing, one task that seemed impossible was the writing of a eulogy. I mean, how does one trammel up the memories that the sum total of a person in a 10-minute speech? That sense of loss can leave you speechless. I wish I had come upon then this next poem, Funeral by Rupi Carr. It describes rather a celebration. When I go from this place, dress the porch with garlands, as you would for a wedding, my dear. Pull the people from their homes and dance in the streets when death arrives like a bride at the aisle. Send me off in my brightest clothing. Serve ice cream with rose petals to our guests. There's no reason to cry, my dear. I have waited my whole life for such a beauty to take my breath away. When I go, let it be a celebration, for I have been here, I have lived, I have won at this game called life. Amid the grief of someone's passing, we may celebrate the fact that they were here, that they have lived and won the game of life. Mary Elizabeth Fry wrote this next poem for a guest whose mother was dying far away in Germany. Fry so beautifully shows us where the person who has passed is and where they are not. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift, uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. During a time when loss becomes overwhelming, I am grateful for these two poets, for their compassionate understanding and their guidance, which cuts through the clutter of those dark times and shines a brilliant light on what is most important, celebration, communion, and love. I've enjoyed reading and thinking about these poems Thanks for listening. I hope you like this ongoing celebration of a few essential words. If so, you can drop me a line at rossreadspoetry at gmail.com. This is Ross wishing you 
good thoughts.